please look good to be true. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys know how much I love testing out stuff. And today we're gonna test out something that's been on my list for a while because I think it's an investment all of us want to make but are very unsure of how it's gonna turn out. It's a relatively new product in the Indian market. It's something that the Koreans can get if it has been doing for a while and suddenly all the Indian brands have launched their own versions of it and there are a lot of mixed opinions on this on the internet so I want to test it out to see if it actually works or not so that you don't have to. Today we're going to be testing out transparent sticks. It's not just going to be a first impression video. I'm going to be testing these out in three different ways. We're going to do the makeup test, the wear test and the white cast test and check which one works best. So I went through the list of sunscreen from different brands in India and selected the top three based on commentators in the video and reviewers on Amazon Make sure that I test out the top three and give you the best out of all. So before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel because because I make very similar videos where I try out stuff. I'll leave a comment down below of anything else you want me to try and give an honest review of. The first sunscreen I'm going to be trying out is the Dot & Key. Strawberry Dew Sunscreen Stick. It's got SPF 50 plus and it says on the package that it's easy application. It has ceramides and it leaves a non-greasy finish. So let's see if it actually does those things. This is how the sunscreen stick looks. First impressions, it looks really compact but the color makes me worry about the fragrance of this product because it says it's a strawberry sunscreen stick and I really do not like strawberry fragrance. Especially if I'm going to be reapplying it all day, I do not want the strawberry scent on my face. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised there is no smell whatsoever as of now, so that is a good sign. As a non-skin person, the first thing I'm worried about with sunscreen is if it's uh, brown skin friendly if, or if it leaves white casts. And that's what makes me very wary on trying out new sunscreen. So let's give it a try and check if this is white cast proof. I don't feel like I'm applying anything on my hand. Oh, there is product on my hand. Yeah. But there is no white cast. Hmm. I'm pleasantly surprised. This makes me feel like maybe all these sunscreens don't leave any white cast. It feels too good to be true. It feels light. Like there's a film on top of my skin. And there is no smell. Sunscreen sticks are great for the application on the go. But one thing that people don't tell you is applying it just once, one stroke of it is not going to be enough sunscreen to protect your skin. So they ask you to apply at least four strokes of it on every part of your face, which is a bit of work. And I worry if the makeup I put on is going to stay if I keep rubbing this four times onto my face. The whole point of using a sunscreen like this is to make sure it works well on top of makeup and doesn't really take away the makeup that you've worked hard on. So I'm wearing a bit of foundation and a lot of blush just to make sure I check this sun stick stick out. Let's go in with the sunscreen. This is how the sunscreen looks before I apply it on my skin. Feels really smooth on my skin. doesn't really feel like much on my skin but this is just me applying it in a room with air conditioner so I won't really know how well this feels until I step out in the sun. So I'm going to be doing that throughout this week trying these sunscreens out for a whole day. There is no makeup that's come off on the sunscreen but I feel like a bit of the blush is gone now but it's not really that bad. I think that's expected. I think the foundation has stayed in place because I can't really see it on the sunscreen. It feels very lightweight on my skin, does not leave any shine. This, I think this has passed the makeup test, but let's see if it passes the wear test. Let's take a pause here. Remember when I said it doesn't really feel like much on my skin but this is just me applying it in a room with air conditioner so I won't really know how well this feels until I step out in the sun. Well, that ended up happening. I went on a trip 
and I was sweating profusely throughout the trip. And I thought, let's test out these sunscreen sticks while on the trip as well. And this is what happened. The next sunscreen I'm going to be trying out is the So True SPF 50 Plus Daily Stick. It has no white cast and it's fragrance free. This was one of those sunscreens that had a lot of reviews on Amazon. And the ratings were quite good for the sunscreen, so I'm really excited for this one. First impressions, it says it's fragrance free, but it has a chemical smell, which is not the best. It has a weird chemical smell. I don't think it's because of the added fragrances. It also does not smell like something you would be comfortable wearing all day on your skin. Let's see if it passes the white cast test. It does not leave any white cast, but it did leave a bits and pieces of the sunscreen on my skin. Not sure if you can see it. There is some green bits on my skin. I feel like it's breaking off pretty easy. But there is no white cast when you rub it in. Now let's see if it passes the makeup test. I'm going to be trying this on on the other cheek and check if it picks up on any makeup. This is how the sunscreen looks before. Not sure if you guys can see but it has definitely picked up a bit of the blush off my skin. I'm not sure if the dot and key one did the same because the color of that was pink and maybe I couldn't really tell the difference but this one for sure has picked up some products. I also feel like this has actually lifted a much more makeup from this side of my face. I can't even see the blush anymore on my skin. I feel like the formulation of this seems to be a bit more a bit cakey on my skin as well and that is why it lifts the makeup off it does not leave much of a shine it is a bit more dewy than the donkey one but it does not leave a lot of shine but i can definitely feel the product on my skin it feels very obvious when you use this one whereas the dot and key one did not feel like anything on my skin this is very confusing because the reviews were great for this product but i am not feeling the same it is not really convincing but let's do the one day wear test and see how it works The third sunscreen that I'm going to be trying out is the Dermaco Hyaluronic Sunscreen Stick. If you guys follow my channel, you know how much I love Dermaco's Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen. That is one of my favorite sunscreens to use, so I am really excited about this one. Because if this sunscreen stick works as well as the Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen that I really love from Dermaco, I'm going to be a happy girl. So let's see if this says it contains Hyaluronic Acid, Ceramides, and it's SPF 60. So that's good. It's a bit better than the other one. Packaging itself feels a lot more different than the other one. A lot more sophisticated. I think this was one of the expensive ones. Maybe that's why. This one was around 850 rupees. So it is a bit expensive. The other two were just under 500. If you're looking for an affordable option, I'm not sure if this is the best option of all. Size-wise, the So True one is just 15 grams and the other two are 20 grams. So it's pretty expensive still. But let's see if it's worth the expense. This is how the sunscreen stick looks. It has no fragrance, no chemical smells. So that's already a win. Let's see if it works on brown skin. It does not leave any white cast. So that is great. Just like I expected from the Hyaluronic Acid sunscreen. But the texture of it feels a bit heavy. But let's see if it, that's actually the case or not. So I've tested out two sunscreens on my cheeks. So I'm going to be using my forehead for this. I have applied a bit of foundation on my forehead. So it's been a while since I've applied it. So let's see if this pulls off a makeup from my forehead. This is how the sunscreen looks. It did lift off a little bit of the foundation, but it's not that much. Texture-wise, it's not as light as the Dotty Key one, and it's not as heavy as the Soto ones. It's right in the middle. It does feel like there is something on your skin, 
and leaves a heavy feeling on your skin. More, I'm wearing obviously seeing the shine on my forehead. Not sure if the camera is picking up on it, but I feel like this product is a bit more heavy on the skin. So it might work well for dry skinned people, but I'm not really sure if it's going to be the best choice for oily skin. Let's see if it actually passes the wear test. I think that's how we're going to know if it is good enough or if it's going to turn out to be a bit heavy on skin. nothing a cup of chai can't fix. I hope you guys found this video useful and please do leave a comment down below and let me know if you like this video or if you want me to try something else. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon. Bye!